Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs of 18th of October. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For Hindi current affairs, please follow our GK Today Hindi channel. And for infographics related to current affairs series, please follow the Twitter account. The link is given in the description. Now, let's start. Which state has highest number of livestock as per the latest 20th livestock census 2019 right answer is uttar pradesh so the department of animal husbandry and dairying has recently released 20th livestock census as per this census india's livestock population has increased 4.6% as compared to livestock census of 2012 now if we talk about states uttar pradesh has highest number of livestock population Uttar Pradesh is followed by Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. In India, livestock census is conducted across the country periodically since 1919. Which state is celebrating the Siroi Lili festival? Right answer is Manipur. So the third edition of Siroi Lili festival has recently started in Manipur. The festival was inaugurated by Union Tourism Minister Mr. Prahlad Singh Patel along with Chief Minister Mr N Biren Singh If we talk about Manipur recently Manipur was in news as it was the winner of Senior Women's National Football Championship Manipur was also in news as recently Japan gifted Peace Museum to Manipur Manipur was also in news as recently state government launched School Fagdaba initiative to improve infrastructure in schools Apart from that Manipur was also in news as Fayang village in manipur became first carbon positive settlement now what does that mean carbon positive means the emission of carbon is less than carbon sequestration in simplest term more and more carbon is treated so the net carbon emission is less than zero now manipur was also in news as it was the host of first northeast olympic games this year second edition of northeast olympic games is going to be organized by arunachal pradesh Exercise Eastern Briz has started between India and which country? Right answer is Oman. So Exercise Eastern Briz is a joint bilateral exercise between Indian Air Force and Royal Air Force of Oman and it should be kept in mind that for the first time MiG-29 fighter aircraft is participating in this international exercise outside India. This time the exercise is in Oman. If we talk about few other exercises which were in news recently Vajra Prahar is a joint military exercise between India and USA and this time it was organized in USA. Tharam Gharjian is a joint military exercise between India and Japan and Mizoram is going to host this exercise this year. On the other hand, Nomadic Elephant is a exercise between India and Mongolia and Himachal Pradesh was the host of this exercise. Kaz in is a joint military exercise between India and Kazakhstan and Exercise Ecovrain is a joint military exercise between India and Maldives. The 129th death anniversary of mystic bard Fakir Lalan Sa is observed in which country? Right answer is Bangladesh. So the 129th death anniversary of mystic bard Fakir Lalan Sa is observed in Bangladesh. If we talk about Bangladesh, recently Bembo made School of Bangladesh got Aga Khan award for architecture Bangladesh was also in news as recently Bangladesh prime minister Sheikh Hasina was in India the currency of Bangladesh is taka and capital of Bangladesh is dhaka recently Sheikh Hasina was in news as she was given Dr APJ Kalam award for excellence if we talk about Dr APJ Kalam 15th of October is his birth anniversary and it is celebrated as students day 15th of October is also celebrated as Maths Day. In addition to that, it is also celebrated as Global Hand Washing Day. Apart from that, it was also celebrated as International Day of Rural Women. In addition to that, the week of 9th to 15th October was celebrated as National Postal Week. Riva Ganguly Das is India's High Commissioner in Bangladesh. On which date? The 2019 edition of International Day for the Eradication of Poverty is observed. Right answer is 17th of October. 
so the international day for the eradication of poverty is celebrated every year on 17th of october for eradication of poverty and the theme of this year was acting together to empower children their families and communities to end poverty now recently for experimental approach to alleviate global poverty three personalities were given nobel prize in economics so recently mr abhijit banerji his wife ms esther dufello and michael kramer were jointly given nobel prize in economics for their experimental approach to alleviate global poverty if we talk about few other nobels olga tokarchuk won nobel prize in literature for 2018 and peter hunt ke won the nobel prize in literature for 2019 apart from that recently ethiopian prime minister abe ahmed won nobel prize in peace and nobel prize in chemistry was given to john b goodenough m stanley and akira yoshini for the development of lithium ion batteries on the other hand nobel prize in physiology or medicine was given to greg l semenja sir peter j redcliffe and william jeclin for their work in the field of cellular respiration and in physics it was given to james peebles michel mayer and didier coelhos for their work in the field of cosmology what is india's rank at 2019 hurun global unicorn list right answer is third so hurun research institute has released first ever hurun global unicorn list and this is first year of the list china has topped the list with 206 unicorns and china is followed by usa india is on third position with 21 unicorns now what is the point of this ranking actually it is a ranking of world's billion dollar tech startups who were founded in 2000 and not yet listed on public exchange so as per this ranking china is on first position usa is on second position and india is on third position if we talk about few other index and rankings recently global hunger index was in news and as per this index india is on 102nd position apart from that recently imd smart city index was in news as per this index singapore is on top while india's hyderabad is on 67th position delhi is on 68th position apart from that recently world economic forum released world travel and tourism competitiveness index as per this index india is on 34th position spain topped the index and as per global firepower index usa is on top position usa is followed by russia and china india is on fourth position on the other hand as per global competitiveness index india is on 68th position singapore has topped the index while usa is on second position the global competitiveness index is prepared by world economic forum nasri tunnel which is in news recently is situated in which state right answer is jammu and kashmir so india's longest chenani nasri road tunnel that links the kashmir with jammu will be renamed after bhartiya jansang founder dr shama prasad mukherjee it is a tunnel on nh44 it is in jammu and kashmir if we talk about jammu and kashmir recently indian army organized sangam youth festival in jammu and kashmir to spread the message of peace prosperity and communal harmony jammu and kashmir was also in news as jammu and kashmir has become the first state in india to issue highest number of golden cards under ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana apart from that recently jammu and kashmir was in news as bsf launched operation sudarshan to fortify border in punjab and jammu and kashmir apart from that jammu and kashmir will be bifurcated into two union territories from 31st of october one union territory will be jammu and kashmir and it will have legislature on the other hand ladakh will not have any legislature and for this bifurcation recently government constituted a three member committee and this committee is headed by sanjay mitra he was the former defense secretary answer in comment box who is the present defense secretary the 2019 indo french knowledge summit was held in which city right answer is lyon so the second edition of indo french summit held in france in lyon it was organized by embassy of france in association with ministry of science and technology and ministry of human resource development 
If we talk about France, recently France was in news because of Rafale aircraft as India recently got first Rafale from France. France was also in news as it was the host of G7 summit. In addition to that, France was in news as it decided to impose green tax on flight tickets from 2020. France was also in news because of GAFA tax. GAFA stands for Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon. And recently, Italy also decided to impose similar web tax on digital companies and it will be applicable from 2020. Italy was also in news as it is the host of 2026 Winter Olympic Games. China is the host of 2022 Winter Olympic Games. On the other hand, Japan is the host of 2020 Summer Olympic Games. If we talk about 2020 Summer Olympic Games, for the first time, India will have hospitality house during Tokyo Games. Answer in comment box, who is our present sports minister? The World Students Day is celebrated to mark the birth anniversary of which noted personality? Right answer is former president APJ Abdul Kalam. So the World Students Day is celebrated every year on 15th of October to observe the birth anniversary of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. He was the 11th president of India and he is known as Missile Man of India. Which Arab country has announced establishment of first graduate level research based artificial intelligence university in the world? Right answer is UAE. So UAE has announced the establishment of first graduate level research based artificial intelligence university. And the name of university is Mohammed bin Jayed University of Artificial Intelligence. Now, if we talk about UAE, the capital of UAE is Abu Dhabi. And recently Abu Dhabi was in news as Judicial Department of Abu Dhabi declared Hindi as third official language. Previously, English and Arabic were official language. UAE was also in news as recently UAE awarded Order of Jayad Medal to Prime Minister Mr. Modi. UAE also awarded Order of Jayad II to Indian Ambassador in UAE Mr. Navdeep Singh Suri and recently Mr. Pawan Kapoor has been appointed as new Indian ambassador in UAE. Apart from that, Dubai is also in UAE and recently Dubai was in news as world's first camel hospital was started in Dubai. Apart from that, UAE was also in news as it is the host of first global DXB challenge. Answer in comment box, this challenge is associated to which field? So these were the most important current affairs of the day. If you appreciate our efforts, please share it. Thank you.